Get a shot of you there. Can you hear me now, Thomas? Yes, I can indeed. Yes, there are about uh, the protest organisers say there are 20,000 uh, junior doctors and their supporters who have marched through Westminster today, angered by the threat to impose a, a new contract uh, by the government that they feel is not fair and not safe. Now, I'm joined by Roshana Median. She is one of the protest organisers. Uh, Roshana, why are doctors so angry about this contract? We're angry because this contract is not only unsafe for patients and for doctors, but it's also incredibly unfair. Unfair why? Unfair because we are being asked to take an up to 30% pay cut for doing more work. We're happy to work weekends and nights. We already start a seven-day service. Jeremy Hunt misleading the public and saying that is not the case. That is unfair and it is wrong. But uh, Jeremy Hunt says that basic pay will be increased, uh, that overall pay will remain roughly the same. This isn't about saving money. Not a penny will be saved, he said. I'm afraid that's just spin and propaganda. All of the evidence we've seen is that the majority of doctors will see a large pay cut. He also argues that it is important for patient safety, that more junior doctors are working at weekends to make sure that patients stand an equal chance of making a good recovery. We already work a 24-hour, seven-day service. You can see all the blue placards here. They are people working at the weekend. That's thousands of doctors working at the weekend. What he's doing is scaremongering, and he is spinning and propaganda to the public to scare them and into believing this contract is something they believe in. I can tell you that there's 20,000 people here who believe it is an unsafe contract. He says that the union, the British Medical Association, is misleading junior doctors, that, is whipping, that, that, that uh, the union is whipping doctors into a frenzy and that there is nothing to be worried about from this contract. I think that's quite amusing because we are a prof profession who are able to read contracts, we're able to read and appraise data and the research that he's quoting. We've all read it, every single person raised their hand when I asked if they read it on stage earlier. We've all read it and we all agree with the BMA. He's the one misrepresenting things. Now you're arguing that you're going to be forced to work longer hours. He says in fact the contract hours will come down from 91 to around 70, that there will be a cap there that hospitals won't be allowed to force you to work longer. How does he propose that that is enforced since he's taking away a, the a safeguards? Contract, a contract, just as anybody else no, in this country sorry, has a contract that is legally enforced yeah. in court if it's breached. Why, his, why, history, do you, why are you a special case? It will not be legally enforced in court because he's taking away the safeguards that requires hospitals to monitor us. So what will happen is doctors will be overworked, tired doctors make mistakes, and there will be no way of making sure that hospitals monitor us and stick to those contracted hours because he's taking away those safeguards. This is why it is so unsafe and it is dangerous and if he's saying it's not, he is misleading the public and he should be ashamed of himself. Now the medical role colleges say that you need to get to around the table, you need to negotiate. That's the only way you're going to come up with a deal that is good for patients and good for the NHS. Why are you on the streets, not around a table? We want to negotiate, we don't want to strike, but what we need is a true negotiation, not a negotiation with our gun to, a gun to our heads. And what the Royal Colleges has, have also said is that Hunt needs to remove the threat of imposition. He's not done that, therefore we haven't got real negotiations. Thank you very much indeed. So you can hear strong feelings here from junior doctors. They have said that they will ballot for industrial action. They haven't yet said when that will be.